Before this video starts, if you're one of these 95% of people that know you subscribe to this YouTube channel, what are you doing? Go down below, hit that subscribe button, and then go and like the video because it show, it helps me out, shows YouTube that you like my videos if you do hit that like button. So without further ado, let's get straight into the video. What's going on guys, we're back with a brand new video. In today's video, we are back with some more Western Bulldogs coach career. Last round, we did verse uh, the Blues, so if you want to go back and watch that video, feel free to. I, it'll just be just the last video that I uploaded to my channel, not hard to find. So if you want to keep up with this series, do that. But now let's get into the injury report because there sadly was some injuries. The injury that did occur was sadly Adam Trelaw, the new recruit, has been injured for three games with an injured hip. Uh, this was always going to be a risk bringing Adam Trelaw over from Collingwood with his injury history and it's already paid off after two rounds of football. He's out for the next three. Which is sad because he was he uh, was letting out disposal getters for the first two rounds, and his speed off the stoppage with Bailey Smith was absolutely ridiculous. So yeah, that'll be a um, sad. So now let's go into who will be coming in for Adam Trelaw. The player coming in for Adam Trelaw is Pat Lipinski, and I've moved uh, Bonton Pally into the midfield, and that's about the only change that happened. Everything else is exactly the same from every other week. I've not seen any other changes since we haven't lost yet. There's been no reason to drop anyone apart from a force drop by Adam Trelaw getting injured. So without further ado, let's get straight into the game. Here we go, the first bounce and we are playing at Canberra. And that's a such a low scoring quarter. Zero goals, zero to zero goals two. This is just look how slow paced the game is. They're actually just controlling their possession. They've literally the whole game, the whole, the whole game so far, all I've done is just keep it around the back half. There's just no way, they're just playing keepings off pretty much in the back half and there's no way we can even score. We've had two scoring shots, which was that last one, and that Bonta Pally should have been a goal and he missed. So, don't expect a higher one and this is, this looks like the closest game it's been all year over the past two rounds, so get action packed, this could be good as a thriller. Josh Bruce. Stephen Martin needs to be good here. Josh Bruce. Josh Bruce. All Australian centre half back so far this season. Mitch Wallace. And we get our first real scoring shot of the game. All because of Josh Bruce. That was just huge back there. And Mitch Wallace. Sneaks it through and we're up by eight. We kick the first goal of the game. All off Josh Bruce's great and our back work. Oh, he's done him for holding the ball. Stefan Martin from 50. Does he have it in him, Stefan Martin? Low scoring game and Steph Martin goes, oh, let's get it straight down the middle. Stefan Martin, let's kick our second. Bailey Smith having a great season and he continues his great form, kicking his seventh goal of the 2021 season. Josh Bruce, the, the All Australian centre half back. Oh, oh the out number, Caleb Daniel trying to go and Matt DeBoer. That's not what you want to see. And Matt DeBoer will line up and possibly kick the first goal for GWS of the game, and he does. And that's the end of the third. I forgot to do a um, halftime recap, but this is the most slow-paced AFL Evolution Pick 2 game I've ever played, I reckon. It's so slow-paced. There's been barely any movement. No joke. They've just been chipping around the back half the whole game, like I said, at um, uh, the quarter time. This is the most slow-paced game. There's going to be like barely any highlights because we literally have not been doing anything. So hopefully this last quarter is a bit more um, exciting. And also, I'm very disappointed in a player, our captain. Where is he? Where is our captain? Marcus Bontempelli. I chucked this bloke in the midfield. He's having such a horrible season. He's barely got any of the footy all season sitting at half forward. I chucked him in the guts with the absence of Adam Trelaw. And this bloke has literally done nothing the entire game. Like, are we, this is our captain. He's meant to be our best player on the team. And he's just... Putting out absolute crap. This bloke's on the verge of getting dropped. Our captain might get dropped. I know it's something you're supposed to do, especially when our GWS did it, but this bloke's on the verge of getting dropped. 
Oh no, Toby Green, who's on him? I think it's Caleb Daniel meant to be on him. And they bring it back to a bloody... To, to, to a nine point game. Jamara. Gets it off the boot, will it go in? Oh, the bounce didn't like him. Dunkley. Oh, he missed his target. Little Bill Pinty was all there by himself. Jacob Popper. Bit Josh Bruce. Stefan Martin. Lipinski. Oh, Mitchell Wallace goes back with the flight and takes a great mark. This could be the sealer. There's only four minutes to go. Mitch Wallace slots this here. Think the game's done. Oh. Oh my god, he's absolutely shanked it. Who's on him? He kicked the goal. About there's 10 seconds to go. There's no way it's not possible. And we've won. This was probably the worst game of football that I've watched in a while. But just like that, we have done it. It was just a back and forth playing between the arcs. It was a horrible game. Harry Perryman, I reckon, just chipped around the back line the whole time. Uh, Josh Bruce, easy best on. I don't care what happened. Josh Bruce plays best game for the football club. Sent half back. I loved his worth work. So, in my view, Josh Bruce, gets, <laughs> Josh Bruce gets the three votes. This was such a boring game of football. But hopefully, there might be a few drops after this game because there was a lot of players that were not playing up to standard. And there could be a few surprises coming into next week. So, make sure to drop a like on this video and get ready for the next episode that will be at tomorrow.